There it is. Hey, Walker. Walker. Hello. Walker. We're here. Just the it, two You know of that us. scene? That scene from, uh, damn it, I can't even remember the name of the show because I never watched it. Rick and Morty. Oh, yes. Jerry comes out of like the tra- the the cloning machine or whatever, and they're all like shaking hands. And just, <laughs> like you need a Walker bit, where it's like yeah. it's Picard Walker, just Walker. running into another Walker, Walker, Walker. Walker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Anyways, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice. I'm gonna press the random trigger and see if that's a Walker. Is it gonna be a Walker? I'll tell sick bay no. to brace for hangover. No, it's not. Sadly, not. Never we mind. said that one the other day. I I think the RNG is broken. I think it is. Let's just try it one more time. But Look, how do you know? I have one job on this lousy ship. It's stupid, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it. Okay. Okay. It's my, it's my stream, talk, stream deck talking. Hello, we're gonna watch uh, Captive Pursuit. Uh, can watch us do that. Uh, spool up your. Um, your, your VHS players with that tape. You, oh no! I tell you what, we're gonna do first. We're gonna watch the trailer. Let's watch the trailer. Actually, I can't stream Ooh. this to you, Auto. You can hear it, but you can't see it. So, uh, okay. sorry. <laughs> we have. I haven't thought this far through. But I have a trailer back from 1993, Ooh. 93, wasn't it? So, a wanted predator from the other side threatens the space Stop. station. Show me where the weapons are stored. Now the crew finds themselves battling the unknown on the next Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's a really short one. That is a short that's one, like a yeah. It's like the UPN teaser. previews. I've been trying to find, I have been trying to find like loads of like UPN previews for Voyager and Enterprise, and there are very few out there. Like this 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 archive I've got has got every episode from TNG and DS9, but none from Voyager or Enterprise. Occasionally you can the find there's actually God. Sorry. No, you can find like the uh you can find all the adverts that were run between episodes of Voyager on like UPN in Montreal or whatever, like Oh in, yeah, yeah. But you can't find the actual trailers for the episode. Including ones that are like, now watch Kevin Sorbo on Hercules coming up next. <laughs> like, oh gosh. Rather not. Uh, and Xena, I think, was running contemporaneously. Xena, yeah. So uh, I think it's the dawn of that Stargate. That trailer is almost well. better without the visuals because you get the Don LaFontaine, and then there's a bunch of like stock, like hitting, punching noises, <laughs> and guys grunting, and it's like, oh, that's action. Show me where the weapons are. Okay, we're gonna do something new. This is your idea, Auto. Bring me to your women. <laughs> your ample women. We're gonna do something new. We're gonna, we're gonna. This is your idea, Auto. We're gonna get canceled. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> it's open. There's no one to cancel us. I'm in charge of the channel. Oh, no one right. can. It's, it's only me that can do that. <laughs> on Twitch, I suppose. Can we get a DMC takedown on like just generally tasteless uh, <laughs> uh, content? I don't know if they go after people for that. Uh, so secretly, all along, we were the great turds of the galaxy. <laughs> it was us. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do something new. We're gonna we're gonna because I well, I haven't watched this episode hmm, probably for about twenty odd years. Um, uh, we're gonna do a pre-rating. We're gonna say like what we think this episode scores before we've seen it. And uh, anyone in chat or anyone in comment section, please let us know what you think before you've watched this, and then let us know what you think afterwards. So, Auto, what would you give this out of ten before hmm. watching it? No, I have I have watched this relatively recently, like a couple months back. Uh, but it all just kind of blends together. I don't think I like this episode, Ooh. Captain Pursuit. I know a lot of people love it. Like I, I read the. Uh, you know, we always read through Memory Alpha ahead of time to see if there's any neat little uh, trivia stuff. And everyone seems to like it. All the reception's good. I know, I think it was Stars a couple weeks ago said, ooh, I like that one. Mm. Uh, and it's just so boring to me. Like the Tosk one and O'Brien, they just run around the station for 40 minutes. So I don't <laughs> think I like it. I think I want to give it like... I'm going to pre-rate it a four. You're going to pre-rate it a four. I'm going to go a bit more ambitious. I think it's going to be a 6.5. I think this is going to be an episode of DS9 that was not offensive but didn't excel. I think it's going to sit there. (laughs) Dude, there's so few of them lately that have not been offensive. So (laughs) This would be a nice refreshing change. It might be an automatic automatic bump up. Will this be the first O'Brien Must Suffer episode? I think it might be. I think because he has well, a... no, because didn't we had ten minutes of that other of of the other episode where he's just like everything's going wrong in the station and he's oh like, he yeah that's right yeah we did a bit of at, that. at Cisco yeah okay maybe so. not the first all right let's get this going we'll be starting Captive Pursuit in five five four three two one engage and time code go don't forget your captions and subtitles should be on yes they are. Whoa, look at that forehead. Look at that. <laughs> it's kind of just got a little golden bow on top. Yeah, it's nice. Got to look this good. The... That's, a, that's a crazy... Oh, 
Oh, O'Brien again, making passes at women. <laughs> Ferengi Knuckles. You ever had a Ferengi Knuckle? <laughs> it's a great yeah. drink. Generally two fingers of Ferengi Knuckle. <laughs> So what race is she supposed to be? I have no Do we idea. Know? I gotta look this up. I have a fun fact about her later, so I don't read too far. Okay. Does she get named? She has a name, but I don't know if it's said. Oh, Bolian. Bolian woman. She's not Bolian. Oh no, that's a different... Never mind. <laughs> She is Tosk. She is not Tosk. I can't even find her in the credits. Oh, Miss Sarda? She's oh, Sarda, yeah. yeah, Sarda. Female humanoid alien, that's all we know. Damn, Spencer. Damn, Kira. So what do you think about the ops? set up on DS1 I like, like that's their bridge hmm. I like how you know it, it feels like it's a space station hub like everything's going through there it never really clicked with it. I think because when, when we did the uh, the Roddenberry archive thing and mm. went through all the bridges I think we always took points off if there are too many like steps up and down <laughs> this one has yeah. steps all yeah, over the did. place Good old Scotty McDonald. Hmm. Vec. Is this his first appearance in Star Trek? Um, I th when was Face of the Enemy? That was season six DNG, so... Because he's got eight appearances. <sighs> Shit. My bad. Uh, it's, it says Tosk and Nevek were his first television roles, respectively. So this actually might be his first one. Okay. What, in, in his career? Uh, oh, look, they're establishing a rapport. It says were his first television roles. Yeah, well, I don't know. You can look him up. <laughs> he looks so pissed. He's like... That'd be actually pretty bonkers if that was his first TV role. Oh, he's in L.A. Noir. Who is he? A lot of video game roles. Oh, Nevek was actually his very first role. R.I.P. Nevek. Wait, that can't be right. Yeah, I think the dates are off. I think this was actually his very first okay. role. In television. Wow. Big asteroid. Wow. Wow. What are you doing? The, wow. Um... <laughs> the Owen, Owen Wilson. Wilson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Everyone quiet. French horns are coming. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta have our French horn moment. Please. No, no. I feel like whenever this plays, plays it's like, no, please stand for the, the, the national anthem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the plane of our yeah. national theme. <laughs> I would. Actually, if they said, like, we're going to change the British national anthem to the DS9 theme, I'd be like, yeah, fuck yeah. I, I would sing along to that. I might emigrate, you know? <laughs> That's the that's the clincher. It's great though. That's a good French horn. I think we've said that every time we've watched DS9, we've gone like fucking French horn, so good. All right, now now I'm reading about uh, that alien at the beginning, trying to figure out what your trivia is. Nah, uh, don't ruin it. Because I'll, I'll make a game I'm of just it. Looking at that tiny gold bow on her head. <laughs> is... This is better than when they put the drums in. Because what annoys me about this scene, Boo, is when they put the drums in, and they're out of time, and it bugs me off. So, did you know? And I've said this, I've said this fact so many times oh, yeah. as well. This 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 theme song actually has a guitar solo in it as well. The extended version has a fucking kick-ass guitar solo done. Like, yeah, I, th I think I've run across that in the depths of YouTube before. It's awesome. <laughs> it's really good. And I think it's in the, in the version that's got the drums later on. It's just like kind of like a Steve Lukather the kind of like Toto esque guitar solo. <laughs> just cut, just r shreds in. Like we're fucking in space, yeah. Who's, who's big when we need him. <laughs> hey, look, if Mariner can do it on lower That's decks, true. then surely they can do it on DS9. Mm -hmm. Berman and Pillar. 
In some alternate universe, they do the CGI for the wormhole different, like, every time. <laughs> yeah. Spend money on that for every episode. Different ship comes out. It is a very 90s mm-hmm. font for the for the title. Garrett Graham. It's a.k.a. Uh, what's his name? Quinn from Voyager. The Q that tries oh, to Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, he plays... Oh, is he uh, one of the uh, hunters, is he? Yeah. Oh, shit. I missed that on the trivia. <laughs> this place is a mess. <laughs> wonder what it smells like in there. It smells like Tosca. You know, here. like... <laughs> no, like, you never think about that, but he's, you know... Was he on the ceiling? They actually, they actually modeled Tosk after an alligator. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not even kidding, so it probably oh, wow. smells... Slightly reptilian in there. I don't know what a crocodile smells like. I can't say I've ever been close enough to a crocodile to smell. So it like. smells like a task. <laughs> oh right, okay. <laughs> you know. No, my porn stash. <clears throat> so is this like the precursor to the Gemadar? Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? I mean, I think even the interface is a little bit Dominion esque. I think they took a bit from that. <clears throat> So you got a second class race that can cloak. Hmm. Ooh, humble brag. Yeah, Buddha says, I love his Starfleet engineers just try to fix everything. They can't even read the language on the panels. <laughs> That's true. No, the, the the language of like, it's like music, you know, the language universal. There you go, see? Yeah, so he just knows instinctively. You should get that guy on the Vox ultra frequency carrier and be like left, left, right, blue, blue, yellow. <laughs> Friend? That is, he does say that a lot. How many alpha quadrant rules out of 10 is this? <laughs> oh, that's true. I got to start thinking of yeah, these. I think that one. It's your turn. That's good makeup, though. Yeah, it is. It is alien enough. Mm. Plenty alien. Do you think he's wearing uniform or is that his skin? Oh, that's some kind of draping, I think. It's like it's very um, textured uniform. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I've I've a few shirts that look like that <laughs> after many years of use. Just get some better uh, better washing up liquid. It doesn't bubble. Is this where Marvel got I'm Groot from? Probably. Well, actually, what comes first? Because Guardians, the Dan Abnett run of Guardians of the Galaxy was 2008, but I don't know if they established Groot before that. Here to Wikipedia! The origin of Groot. <laughs> <laughs> no, Groot was an original 60s comic, but I don't know if he said I'm Groot as like his thing back then. <clears throat> I think he was just like a, a nameless monster. It is Groot, the monster from Planet X. <laughs> Vin Diesel is the origin of Groot. Right. Yeah, get out of it. <laughs> get out of it, Boomer. That's enough looking up uh, Groot. Yeah, so this episode is supposed to be, you know, good old classic Trek and morality play and character story, but it's just kind of dull to me. Like, they're going through airlocks and... Funny enough, I was playing a game earlier today where it was pretty much going through airlocks and elevators and shuttles and... That was a cool little effect with the... Mm. (laughs) Look at him, like, striking poses on (laughs) the the other side of the... Yeah. No, that's the Neelix dance. Yeah, now that you say it, I'm not sure. I think that's just like they couldn't have him look too indecent, even though he's Mm -hmm. an alien. So they just put drapings on him. His whole body is his genitalia. This is such awkward small talk. Mm. Chief is trying real hard, and Tosk, like, 
It's just. I feel bucket. like I feel like Odo should have made an appearance by now, or like the first contact team, or someone other than like. Oh yeah, we'll just send the engineer. Be fine. First contact with the race through the gamma quadrant, and yeah, let's just send O'Brien. Yeah. This is very like early Enterprise. We have no rules, but we're in space, yeah. kind of. More. Oh, 300. Yeah, I never knew how many were on the station. <clears throat> I thought it was more. I thought there were thousands. Probably depends who's docked at the mm. moment. I think probably 300 Starfleet personnel. This is the real kind of like the episode that sort of gets rid of down to the nitty gritty of what DS9 does because then they've explained it properly in in other episodes so they're just kind of like going like oh let's do it for yeah, a third actually, person I perspective the, uh, I wonder what the uh, what's it called not the air date like when they shot it In production date 92, 93 early uh, no probably 92 production order I should say mm. <laughs> now there's a Berlian lady it says fifth produced and released in DS9, so. Mm. Although this is episode six, I guess, because of the emissary. Yeah. I might. I wish to know more about this beer. That. He's doing. He's doing a little bit of like the Thermian walk. Actually. Yes, yes. We wish um, to know where the ship on. is. <laughs> no. Everything is the, comes back to Galaxy Quest. What is this, uh, quarks? <laughs> <laughs> You're a shapeshifter. It is an honor to be in your presence, Commander. <laughs> and he's like bent over with his ball sitting out. <laughs> like, how are they having trouble with it? It's like, it's meant to synthesize. I don't know. Replicators confuse me because. There's like Do no they? Vulcans in this series. No. I think you get like one later on that sort of tries to. A good old Chulak, yeah. Oh, and the, oh, well, um, the Niners. and Chulak. The Niners as yeah. well. You get a whole ship full of them come and play baseball. I think there's one uh, who's like part of a, like a scamming team that comes on and Cork falls in love with her. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. There's not a lot. Yeah, this is such a terrible breach of security. No one there. Yeah. But the overworked uh, engineer. And then we're like, here, you just have full use of the computer now. Imagine in the chair is like phone Cisco. I'm like, so you had this first person from the Gamma Quadrant and you just gave him to your engineer and put him in a quarters on his own and you just ignored him. <laughs> yeah, and they tell you exactly where the weapons are kept. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Where's Odo? And they don't Odo have, should have been like, I'm not have, letting yeah. him through without a proper scan. He's, <laughs> he's too busy trying to resign in Cisco's office right now. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah. It's the fifth time this week, Odo. Task Man on the run. run. Did... <laughs> we got to stop doing this. I think that's a different song, though. Okay, okay. They're both about being on the run, though. <laughs> Yeah, pretty, before you know it, our periods are going to be synced. We should probably stop doing <laughs> okay, okay. track tracks every weekend. I don't... Jesus. It's oh okay. my god, No one me listens too. to the watch along. <laughs> or to try to get cancelled again, yep. There's nothing going through Cisco's mind right now. He's no. just a plot device. Avery's just like, is it too late to quit? <laughs> are they reviving Hawk? Can I go back and do that? I'll repeat what you say, but more still did. Mm. Ah, the nerds. It's like Babel again. You know, if, 
<laughs> That's quite good. <laughs> this is going to be a trope, though. Alien misunderstands basic. Yeah. If, if this really is his first acting role on television, it's nice that he landed something where he's supposed to be really stilted mm. and, like, heavily behind makeup. So he could do almost anything with this and be fine. No, he's cool. Hey, over there. So would this still be Okuda doing the L cars for DS9? I would imagine so. <laughs> like he's thinking about that. O'Brien's a business. Yeah, if they're going to do L cars anyway, I'd like to have something moving on the screen. You mm. know what I mean? Give it a little bit of motion. I think it comes to budget, isn't it? Do they have you know, time to animate oh, something? Brian. Or... <laughs> That's what Star said to me the other oh, day. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, yeah. one of the Starfleet unis with the color on top. Oh yeah, a couple of them. Check out the two people at the bar. Is that Teal from Star Wars? Uh, from Stargate? <laughs> at the bar, pretending to have a conversation. I don't know. Oh no, it's a woman. If Sorry. it was Babs, I would know from profile. Oh, that's a woman. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I got very confused there. Woman. <laughs> I was like, I don't see gender. You know, man, woman, they all look the same to me. I don't conform to your gender stereotypes. <laughs> by, by your choice, O'Brien. <laughs> you've been, you've been yeah. staying well away. Wait, so does he have Molly at this point? Yeah. Yeah, Molly was or, born in TNG. She? She's okay. born in Disaster, wasn't she? Oh, that's right. Season five. Don't call me Barkeep. Finally, some good actor. Yeah. I mean, I love Colm, but fuck come on. on. He's giving you the old uh, Master of the House treatment here. Advice is for you. That's such a writer's line, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look at them looking at each other. I think I think they might be attracted to each yeah, other. Yeah, I think actually. there's definitely some sexual energy going on here. They should just start holding each other's hands. <laughs> Come See here, romance. Is there any Tosk Quark fix slash fiction out there? <laughs> Wait, hold on. He said by the brother's quark. What does that even mean? Uh, Rom, probably. Yeah, but his his name isn't. No, I is that the family name it's then? Quark, quark. Quark. Is his name quark. quark Quark? Yeah, Quark Quark. <laughs> Rom Quark and Quark Quark. <laughs> it's like Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, the Mario Brothers. <laughs> I don't think that's their name either. I think it is. I think it is actually proven somewhere. His name is Mario Mario. Mario Mario, yeah. I'm going to have to look this up. <laughs> Mario Mario. <laughs> no. Is Mario's full name Mario Mario? Oh my god, the hero the hero plumber's full name is Mario Mario after all. What the hell? It says Quark Quark and Rum Quark. The Quark Brothers. <laughs> Wow. All right, that's canon, I guess. <laughs> How many Frankie siblings are named Quark? Has Avery Brooks left his body? I think he has. Wait, does that mean Nog is Nog Quark? Because what would his, Moogie be? He would, take his, he would have his dad's last name, right? That's true. Uh, before oh. or after marrying Zach? That's true. Because she'd be, she'd be Moogie Zach... Moogie Zack. <laughs> this is so dumb. <laughs> it's not the dumbest conversation we've ever had. It's up there. Dude, he's just like, I'm I'm out of this. Yeah. I'm gonna go back <laughs> to my like, office. Just you guys can fight. figure <laughs> He's like an absent parent. He just wants nothing to do with the goings on. Oh hello. Computer show me weapon. 
Oh, is that one of Data's paintings? <laughs> is that Odo? Yeah, there we go. I saw it. <laughs> of course it is. Finally, he's useful. I was going to say, when the fuck's he been? We're like halfway through. In the right, hand on the shoulder? No. Ah, uh, I was... <laughs> He's so chill. He's just like, yeah, you can't go anywhere. They're still kind of working on the makeup a little yeah. bit. Yeah, early Odo. You mean Odo Cork? <laughs> <laughs> he sounds so young there as well. He's not kind of got the gravel. Yeah, has he? For the hunt. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Plenty, Plenty O'Toole. I'm sure you are. <laughs> okay. You already know his name. You don't need to keep saying it yes. like that. You're not a Pokemon. <laughs> Laters. <laughs> like he looks at his hands like the fuck are you doing dude my whole world is shattered now that I know his name is Quark Quark <laughs> <laughs> I could have lived without that knowledge <laughs> uh, Buddha you have to ask stars about that when we're mm. he, he wants to review all the Bond movies What minute are we in? Uh, we are 22. Yeah, 22. 22 minutes and Cisco finally does something yeah. plot relevant. As Avery Brooks moves to be fair, his all show. <laughs> to be fair, they probably have a lot of guests come through and so yeah. he can't necessarily handle all of them. <laughs> Thank you. What is that? <laughs> It's like this is a waste of my time. <laughs> Just put him back through the wormhole. Actually, you know what I would have loved is if if someone on the someone on the staff like Kira or O'Brien or actually Julian accidentally calls Cisco Dad one time <laughs> and then like the look on their face. <laughs> like There's a high mom. probability that that would have happened yeah. over the course of the definitely Bashir. I feel like Gold Madrid has me captive with how bright the lights in my mm. background are right now. Sorry about that. Oh, it's okay. Rum Quark, please report to Quark Quarks. <laughs> quark Quark. This is the same series with Pup as well. We get the uh, the anomaly called Pup. Remember that one? That sounds familiar. Is it, I think it's season one or two. I, do, I, I love how Odo, Odo projects this air of, of nonchalance. <laughs> like he's always multitasking when someone comes to him with a security problem. <laughs> it's like, yes. Oh, Kira's, cool. Is that Kira's first line? Uh, no, she spoke earlier. <gasps> Fija! <laughs> Dust unit. Well, actually... The... <laughs> so determined. She's so angry. Nothing's <laughs> happened. And she's, she's like, like what yeah, put the shields up. Like, fuck it up. They ain't getting through here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That looks like the Trillian plague ship. That looks massive as well. Globe in the that middle. ship's huge. I think it's just because of where the camera angle is. Mm. 
But yeah, they do that a lot where the skill's way off. Hmm. All right, now he's... Avery has snapped too. Yeah, we go. There's a guy with a puffy shirt just running through the promenade. I like that transport effect. That is very cool. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck with my boys. It's Daft Punk. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's the stuff on there, looking at Yeah, I know. Straighten your boulder, Commander. What? No. What? Odo <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't drag Odo away. <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> he's back. Oh no, no, that. Oh, I get, I thought that was Odo. I that thought that was Odo. Hit. But then that doesn't yeah. make sense, so I would just be able to knock Odo out. No, no, it was Odo. He walked forward. No, he's hiding behind Cisco. I was like, have they gone yet? Wait, so he got, he got punched, they dragged him away, and then he immediately appeared yeah. behind Cisco. What? <laughs> you know, should. I never use them. Dude, she's like double fisting the weapons. <laughs> Wow. Crossbow. What? They have a random crossbow rocket launcher. It's a bowcaster. It's a Wookiee weapon. <laughs> Just annihilated that door. Alright. <laughs> start writing some things. Are they down. the um, Parisi Squares uniform? Can't think they are. Uh, it's close. No, no, no. Th those are blue. This is blue. <laughs> gotcha. Dude, it should be like uh, Lumba on the other side. <laughs> quark, quark, quark as Lumba. Uh, there's the shot. So they developed visual scanning tech, but it only works in like a, a two centimeter circle <laughs> <Yeah>. radius. <laughs> Takes ages for them to scan a planet. <laughs> no, the words I am tossed. Look at that. That's cool. It is. Yeah, that's actually the best part of the episode mm. so far. And that makeup's pretty good too. There's uh, Quinn. Oh, of course, yeah. My oath of silence is on record, Captain. <laughs> Aged. Apparently, he really loved this episode, Garrett Graham. Hmm. He fell in love with the good old Star Trek morality play. Hmm. He just looks at his shit. <laughs> Look at him. Fuck are you. To be kept in a five star right, hotel that... with three meals a day. <laughs> That should be a what the dub clip. Like the most humiliating <laughs> yeah, thing uh, alive. Ad caption. List somewhere. Yeah, we should. Well, we should be. What was that? <laughs> Finally, we get that gravelly baritone. It looked like there's little battleship figurines on the Baldrick, like just yeah, glued on yeah. there. <laughs> he keeps doing <laughs> with his head. Just giving Odo a run for his money. Apparently, he can just knock a changeling out, so. Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> 
I am ashamed. I am ashamed. Even O'Brien looks ashamed of him. Mm. Who's still hunting people on, on Earth? What's going on there? Probably Madagascar. I just read recently uh, 80% of the species on Madagascar don't exist anywhere else in the world. Oh, wow. That nose kind of looks like a dog's nose. <laughs> yes. It's kind of like a lion, yeah, kind of a... Like a lizard okay, lion. So I'm getting man. child murderer vibes here. Hmm. Where, like, they're the sacrifice, but we pretend like they're noble and we appreciate them. <laughs> On this station. That's got to be a repeating thing. That's got to be a some kind of repeating thing on this station. So apparently the color for their uniforms is actually patterned after fox hunters. So I find it ironic that Cisco has the same red and black on. Mm. It's their custom to beam aboard and shoot at people. <laughs> yes, knock her and blow up our doors. It's my custom to knock her out. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of lame. Mm. Like he's like, I've registered my verdict. They're like, but what if we just bypass it? No, okay, I'll let you do that. <laughs> Dude, he can't even pronounce your name. Yeah. You think he can understand the concept of asylum? Mm. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Become asylum. We won't send you out on a boat to another country. No worry. A holographic boat. Little horn music in the background there. Sad French horns. <laughs> Should be like, uh, caption this image, sad French horns. <laughs> <laughs> Mourn, should have been mournful in the, uh, French horns. Yes, should have been in the subtitle, shouldn't it? Oh, 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 Brian. Brian. No. I love how even the caption says OH space Brian. Mm. Asylum. I gotta give him credit for the makeup, though, especially with mm. the different lighting and stuff. That's really good. So, Michael Westmore did all that, didn't he? It's probably one of his best ones. Now, you got to think for DS9, they had to come up with a whole new, like, you can just like, ah, oh, we'll choose Klingons, Romulans, Bonus. No, no, no. Here's a whole new. I mean, they, they will in the future, but. Hmm. It's season one if you're trying to make your own way, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> with a little woman. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that is a recurring thing. Mm -hmm. Like, people pick it as marriage, and then he gets real angry about it. <laughs> Why is Quark looking <laughs> lovingly into people's eyes this episode? <laughs> yeah, you know, it was only twice, but it's, it's weird that it's happened twice. Whatever <laughs> that to me was.
Keen observer. I love uh, the dark eye shadow Quark has in mm -hmm. his makeup. And the little veins under his mm. head skin, too. <laughs> And Cork's like, can I put Cork money on that? <laughs> yeah. Cork's trying to think how he can make money from this situation. <laughs> That's such a lame Eureka moment. <laughs> Thank you, Cork. Cork. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> cork, cork. <laughs> oh, look at that head skin, huh? That's good. It's like a brain. It's like a... Yeah, we'll go with brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I offer you another drink, Captain Scrotum Head? <laughs> <laughs> or is that the Gallimite uh, with the see-through head? Oh, yeah. I think they're the, they're the shroomies, aren't they? That, that's what they end up being. Dude, kinky foreplay here. <laughs> yeah. <It's> <laughs> public <laughs> humiliation. <laughs> Why is there so much leather here? Well, see, he's about to go quit. He's yeah. going to <laughs> quit again. Someone gave an order. I better go yeah, quit. Rah, rah, rah. By interfering even more with your hunt. Yes. That's the best way to... But to be fair, he does make it more awesome. He goes, the hunt is on. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> See, he's about to quit. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, the cheeks are a little more sunken in. The forehead mm -hmm. isn't quite as smooth. I hate, I hate the fact that the combat is the the one thing. It's like, ha ha! Can't find me now. Well, I guess if they have a thousand life signs on the station. Mm -hmm. It might be hard to scan them all. He had a weapon <laughs> on him. Got him. Pow! Did you? You have a phaser set to stun, and why would you punch him instead? To give him a moment. <laughs> Get to the chopper! This little fetish necklace is cracking mm. me up. <laughs> Needless jump. That was a very TNG mm -hmm. action move. You know, Cisco, you did encourage this, so you can't get too upset. <laughs> Could have just been like, no, my order stand. He doesn't seem to be bothered about anything about this episode. He's just like, yep. This Dude, is... he's so aloof today. Look yeah. at him. Everyone's doing stuff, and he's just like sitting there. <laughs> I like this bit. <laughs> okay. There's no rush. <laughs> and then, yeah, the, the look back again, like, are you sure you just told me that? Stop. <laughs> I love that slow deliberate one. It's like, okay. This actually, is, this actually might be my favorite scene. Yeah. Actually, now that I look at it, even that the necklace, the the choker thing looks suspiciously like the Jem'Hadar. Oh, you know those yeah. little the tubes that go into their necks for the yeah, catch white. white. Yeah. Nope, just court marshaled. Cardies. That's, that's a just, racial term. Come on, O'Brien. You're better than this. No, not really. It's not. Cisco's going to have Robert Abril uh, gently dress him down after this. <laughs> yes, the, the hangover is your uh, 
your punishment, O'Ryan. Yes. <laughs> The Cardies. Those helmets are so dumb. Dude, it's just Daft Punk. Did he just drop on him and he's unconscious? Yes. Come along, Tosk. No. (laughs) That's a big... They literally dodged an energy projectile. They do that a lot. (laughs) I think my favourite one's in Broken Bow when Archer managed to dodge a phaser blast. Oh, look at that dramatic death drop. Yeah. Loot him. Loot them. You've not played any video games? Come on. Yeah. Come on, press X when you're standing <laughs> on top of them. Everyone's like, fuck's sake, I've got to clean this up later. There's so much smoke coming mm. off them. I've been vaped to death. Some say he is still being hunted to this day. (laughs) You wish to come? Yeah, good justification. You know, I love... I love Cole Meany, but he's so, in this episode, he's so... Everything's kind of off, you know what I mean? I think he's given, given material he can't quite relate to. He, he, he just feels really... Uh, he feels uncomfortable the whole mm. episode, you know? Like, he's trying to crack jokes, and he's trying to... Oh, no, they kiss. <laughs> he's not clinging. I don't think Starfleet kills kills their people. Actually, Janeway does, so... <laughs> They should have kissed, I think. That would make yeah. it more poignant. Because <laughs> after all, he had just been speaking like... about, you know, Keiko. Yeah. That was brought about. No, there's nothing wrong with me and my wife. I'm just attracted to this this lizard man. Dude, this could have been the greatest love story in DS9, yeah. Tosk and O'Brien. But there's no one left on the ship. It just flies right past mm-hmm. the hunter ship. <laughs> You're full of shit. <sighs> Finally, Cisco, after telling him everything's okay, now he's getting a little worked up. Mm. He's not even enlisted, Cisco. Mm. Cut him a break. <laughs> in the interests of mutual <laughs> understanding. It almost worked, though. Mm. That's the real crime. Yeah. Captains take that personally. Cap- Captain Micromanager Cisco. Although, is he still commander at this point? He's commander, yeah. Yeah. He gets promoted at the end of uh, season three. Which I always found that weird. Like, don't you have enough captains that... Mm. You could put one in charge of guarding the entry to the Gamma Quadrant. Yeah, but you must have the cut down version. That's We're watching we all the like breaks. <laughs> <laughs> We'd stop by Quark Quarks for a, a beer <laughs> midway. Dude, and then he goes instantly back to aloof and sarcastic. Mm-hmm. I don't think. Where are my flying cars? Where are my flying cars, O'Brien? <laughs> Happy he is with himself. <sighs> Where are my hey, runabouts, my... O'Brien? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Ba ba da ba ba. It's such a weird episode. That was a weird episode. Okay. Let me turn the time code off, and we will. <sighs> Do this. Oh, can't show the episode here. Oh, I have to redo the thing as well. Hang on a minute before I say the words. You know what those words are. 